Why on earth was Marshadow here? What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review of episode number 57. Before we jump in, we are doing a week of reflection, so I want you to let me know in the comments below what I can do better in these reviews that we're doing. Now, today's episode, episode 57, titled Rotom's Nonstop Form Changing, I learned more about Rotom than I've learned. It we're just like randomly learning about Pokemon. Last time it was all about Komala. This time it's all about Rotom. Uh, but basically, we 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 learned we learned a lot. We got to see all the different kinds of Rotom, at least off the top of my head, um, and even a couple kinds of Rotoms that aren't very real. Uh, so we'll go ahead and dive in again. If you watched that episode, make sure you let me know what your favorite part of the episode was in the comments down below. Now the episode starts out with Kukui saying that school is out for the day, so Ash, Kukui, and Burnett are headed off to the grocery store, leaving Rotom in charge of the home to watch over. And at first I thought it was going to be one of those, this is the, um, like this is a, almost like one of the Pokemon shorts of old, where it would just be the Pokemon and, and all of the people would be gone from the episode. Didn't turn out to be that, but that's what I thought it was. Um, but then the episode begins, 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 it goes through the title sequence. The episode begins with a worker and a machoke delivering a package to Kukui's. And it turned out to be a washer. And when from first glance at this washer, you know that it's a Rotom wash. Uh, and it's very strange, but the worker winds up waking up most of the house. Um, Rotom answers the door and he's, you know, I'm in charge, all of the others are out and uh, etc etc he signs for the package they leave the package and Rotom inquires I didn't know that they ordered a washing machine it then goes on to uh, something of note something quite of note where Lycanroc and Litten are kind of playing with each other and as we've pointed out before it really seems like Litten is trying to live up to Lycanroc is trying to be as strong as Lycanroc and if I could spoil um, we know for a fact that Ash's Litten will be evolving at some point soon. We don't know when, we don't know if he'll evolve into Incineroar, but we know that he will eventually evolve into Tauracat soon. So, um, the way that they're playing around, you can definitely tell that that, that it, it's just leading towards that because Lycanroc's being all snuggly and cute with Litten, and Litten's like pawing, he's like pawing at Lycanroc, like, they start fighting each other and Litten winds up firing a uh, an ember to hit Rowlet. Just before that happened though, um, the washing machine that was delivered wakes up. As in there's a Rotom living inside of it. Now, uh, I learned a whole lot about how Rotom works in this episode as I had said earlier. Litten, Litten accidentally hit Rowlet. Um, Rowlet charges and hits Pikachu. Pikachu shocks the whole house which results in Rotom Dex as well as Rotom Wash getting shocked out of their device. And as we learned in this episode, when Rotom is outside of an electronic, it can't control itself. So it's just zipping around everywhere. And all of a sudden the two of them collide and they go into the each other's device. Um, so it turns out that Rotom Dex, we're gonna call him Dex through the episode, uh, goes into the washing machine and wash goes into the Pokedex um, So it, it's it's quite strange now The other thing strange in this episode was that we saw Jigglypuff floating on the sea That's it And then the people return home Ash, Burnett and Kukui return home to see that they have this package and Burnett's like we didn't order this the worker comes back and says, I'm sorry, delivered this to the wrong place. I don't know how you messed that up. Nice and convenient writing right there, if you ask me. And Ash notices that Rotom is laying motion motionless on the ground, picks it up, hands it to Kukui. Kukui taps it on its face, and it reboots. And it's Wash waking up, and it's introducing, Hi, nice to meet you. So then Rotom goes over and starts messing around with the Pokemon, stretching out Pikachu's face, and just, just a whole bunch of acting very strange, but Kukui dismisses it as uh, as normal. It just had to reboot for whatever reason. Um, it's probably just fine. Now, flash over to where Dex is in the back of the delivery truck. 
um, being delivered to the Pokemon Center. The actual washing machine is being delivered to the Pokemon Center. And Joy goes over and fills up this new Rotom Day, or excuse me, this new um, Rotom Wash, or I think it's just supposed to be a washing machine for all she knows, tries to get it to work, and Rotom, or Dex just freaks out and spews soap everywhere, and then escapes in his natural form, again, zipping everywhere, eventually into an electrical outlet. Now, this begins Dex's long journey back to finding Ash. But Dex first makes it to Lana's house, where uh, Lana's little siblings are, they have a fan, little fan where when you do the sound into it, it, it makes everyone knows what I'm talking about. Uh, but Rotom takes over that fan and starts going back and forth and freaks out, exits, goes back, starts flying, starts flying through the currents again. Gets to the TV in Kukui's. He knows exactly where he's going. He gets to the Kukui's TV and he's going through different channels trying to see if he can find where they're at. Eventually, of course, he gets to the, what's it called? The Master Detectives TV show. Of course he does. Rotom goes back and continues to try and find. Now, Ash and Wash are wandering around town and Ash decides to take um, to take Rotom to Professor Joy. Or what? To Nurse Joy in the Pokemon Center. But on the way, Wash says that he's found a, a very rare Pokemon, takes a picture of it, and it's Marshadow. Why is it Marshadow? That makes absolutely no sense to me. I don't get it. But he comes back and shows Ash this picture. And Ash is like, this picture's really blurry. This isn't like you, Rotom. We're definitely going to the Pokemon Center. It flashes to the other side of the building where we see actual Rotom, the Rotom that we're going, the, our Dex. We see Dex um, sees this Pokemon. Oh my gosh, I have to take a picture of it. Oh wait, I'm not a Pokedex. <laughs> So he has to, he, he freaks out yet again. Marshadow disappears. What the heck is Marshadow doing here? Is this gonna be some type of foreshadowing to the next event? Are we gonna be seeing something with Marshadow? Was that where the movie picks up? I don't even know, I haven't even seen the movie with Marshadow. I should probably get on that. That might be a goal for next weekend is to see that movie. Um, it was very interesting. Like Marshadow was just there. Like just straight up there. I don't I don't get it. If you know what's going on with Marshadow, let me know down in the comments so I can be up to date with what's going on. Um, but anyway, the next place that we see Dex um, is a mower at Lily's. Um, goes into a little lawnmower, winds up chasing after Lily. Uh, James the butler sends out his Oracorio and does his little does his little dance and has Oracorio use Revelation dance, zapping Rotom. Rotom leaves again. Next up, he lands at Mallow's, um, Mallow's restaurant where Kiawe is delivering milk. They get scared by Rotom heat. It, it, Marowak comes out, knocks Rotom out. Rotom goes again. Then, lastly, I think, he winds up at Sophocles where he's Rotom Frost. He's a fridge and he freezes Sophocles. I hope Sophocles stays frozen for the next 50 episodes so I never have to see him again. Anyway, back at the Pokemon Center, Ash is talking to Joy about Rotom's strange behavior. And when telling her that Wash took a picture of a rare Pokemon, Joy re makes reactions as if she had heard something about a supposed rare Pokemon. That again leads to more questions. Why on earth is Marshadow being shown like he is? Are we are we getting some Marshadow content soon? Um, but Ash tells Wash to show her the po the picture, and the picture's all white. I think this has something to do with like cleaning, um, where Rotom likes to keep things clean, so he just made it all white. Uh, I don't I don't know. Um, but Joy deflects to Kukui, saying that Kukui you know, probably knows most about these, but she does make notes. Wait a minute, the washing machine was acting weird. Wash looks over at this washing machine and goes, that thing looks nostalgic. Like, I don't get it. Uh, but the lights in the center begin to flicker, and that's because Dex comes out, um, zipping around, zipping around, zipping around, zipping around, goes into the washing machine. 
Um, this is where 100% confirmed my thought of when Rotom can't be in its natural form. It's got to be inside of an electronic, which makes perfect sense uh, when you really stop and think about it, uh, which I think is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, but taking cover inside of the washing machine, Dex then recognizes Ash, but he can't communicate properly. He doesn't have his same speech that he does when he's inside of the, uh, the Rotom decks, right? I imagine you'd only have something like his name. That's why the other, that's why Wash kept saying, Wash, Wash, Wash. That makes perfect sense now that I said it out loud. Uh, but anyway, in an attempt to, you know, Dex is excited to see Ash. So he accidentally winds up using Hydro Pump, which Pikachu meets with an Electro Ball. That's cool. And then he's crying because he can't get Ash to recognize him. And it turns into like this bubble beam type thing where the whole Pokemon Center gets flooded with bubbles yet again. Pikachu uses a Thunder Pole, shocking everyone, resulting in Rotom switching, Rotom's switching back where they belong. And then again, it flashes to so Jigglypuff, just saying, put a mud bay to sleep and wrote, wrote, wrote on its face. Dex explains the entirety of what happened to Ash, um, but Dex notices that his his data had been tampered with, and that's when Ash tells him that um, Wash had found this very rare Pokemon, um, and but he had deleted the picture because he was trying to keep it clean. Rotom tries to go rush off uh, in a hurry to find the Pokemon. Ash in, a, in Ash in an attempt to. Uh, follow after Rotom trips, lands on Pikachu, Pikachu fires the Thunderbolt, Rotom gets launched again. This time, Rotom is in the Pokemon Center taking over the entire building. And that's the episode. It's a very strange episode. As I had said, these filler episodes, you know, we got so used to uh, the whole Lusamine, the whole Nihilego, the whole Nebi. I mean, that whole arc with Nebi. Uh, where Lily was the focus, it's just very weird. Now, in the next episode, um, it previews a big Marini and James Team Rocket episode. It shows Tentacruel versus Marini, where Ashgar, excuse me, where James come through, comes through and saves Marini. But then we see an alternate colored Marini. I don't think it was shiny, but it was like flipped. Uh, it was like it was flipped. Um, where the colors were just opposite of each other. And then later on, we see Toxapex trying to steal Marini and James fighting for it. So I don't know. It was very strange, as I said, um, but hopefully it picks up soon. You know, like I said, we are definitely going to be seeing an evolution in Ash's um, Litten soon. And we've also, we're also probably going to see Poi Pole. Um, along with some Ultra Recon stuff. So that's going to be about it. Again, I know my thoughts were a little scattered in this episode, so uh, we'll try and get that a little better. But uh, again, let me know in the comments below, one, what your favorite thing about this episode was and what you think I can do better in these um, reviews. And we'll see you for the next one next week. I think we're going to start doing these on Friday mornings. I'm going to try and push myself to get them out the morning after the episode goes up. So anyway, we'll see you for the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.